Senio here, Schultz Outfitters. Uh, today we're going to be tying steelhead nymphs and I'm going to just show you a simple, easy, effective pattern that I've tied for years. This is just my flavor. I'm sure other people tie like this. This is just my version. Uh, I'm going to show you some of the color combos and stuff to, to make it easy to have a wide variety and to fill your box. So here we go. So we're going to do the uh, black stone fly version. So what I've done is I've been using these uh, plummeting beads and these uh, tactical tungsten beads. Uh, I like this for this pattern. It just makes it easy. I can just get a couple color variations and it, and it works out good. And then we're using the Daiichi 1530s. And this is just a 2X heavy strong nymph hook. Like I said, you could change it based on the water that you're going to be in. This is one that's just standard, easy. I do them all in. You know, I do them in a size 8. 10s, 12s, it covers from here to steel that alley. So just gonna put a good thread base down. And then uh, what I like to do is just, you gotta put a little bump back here. Like I said, we're not trying to complicate the pattern. So I just split that. We're gonna come in, just make a little thread bump back here. Right at the bend. Whole point of that is so I can keep and splay out my goose bites. And we only need four per fly. So I come in here and I cut off four. I'm just going to set them on my vise. You'll notice it has a natural like curvature to them. So you want the curve to splay out. And use that little ball of thread that you made to uh, make that happen. So tie one to each side. And how long it's, it's more or less how long you want to do it. Try to make them proportional to the fly. You know, show that you do have a tail. Or show that you do have appendages. So, that's all that is. Tie that in. See, you just got a nice little, might be hard to see with the, uh, you know, with the vise, but you get the point. Just a nice splayed tail there. Just going to take some black vinyl rib. This stuff stretches out, cut off about two inches, and you'll notice this stuff has a flat side, and it's got a rounded side. So obviously we want to wrap the rounded side. So what you got to do is tie it down. I look at it, make sure, flat side up. I'm going to tie this into the length. So I'm just basically going to cover that whole hook with that, or, or just about. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to fold it down so that way that the, uh, the rounded side is facing up. And lock it in. And then I'm going to go back over at least two of those wraps. Cut that off. I'm going to use this thick saltwater lateral scale. I'm going to just cut a little piece off. It's going to be my wing case when this is all done. I'll set that on top, tie that in. Now here's the important thing is you'll notice like there's a whole bunch of ice dub on the table. So that gives me everything I need to, uh, to tie this fly. So the, the big deal is being able to change the color of the thoraxes in each version of the fly to build you a box that has different contrast, you know, hits different conditions, but gives you a universal pattern to kind of get it all done. One of the most important ones is this black with the peacock and the flashback. You just, you can't go wrong. This combination is caught fish all over. So grab a little bit of this, spin it on. I'm going to grab two more of those two extra bites that we had, 
same deal as you did on the tail just center it on each side get a couple wraps in there we're gonna glue this stuff so it's no big deal one on each side Wrap that up. What I'm going to do is just add a little bit more dub. Just to make sure that that bead doesn't move. Take that wing case. Fold that over. I lock that in and I fold it back. Give it a little tug and I lock it in. I don't even worry about my thread on this kind of fly. I just come in and cut that off. And what we're going to do is just finish it off with a bead of bone dry which really tightens this fly up makes it hard put it right on the bead and on the wing case and hit it with a light just like that I'm gonna cut a thread just like that Got a little black early stone. They're heavy, they sink well. So the cool thing I like about this simple stone fly is right here, I can literally just change a little bit of ribbing and the color of the ice dub and I could fill a whole box with a wide array of fishy little steelhead colored um, nymph patterns that have hot spots, natural colors, and uh, just, you know, that homemade concoction that you want to have something a little different than uh, everybody else. <laughs>